Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on LaTeX programming. Now, in this in this tutorial, uh, in the subsequent three to four tutorials, I guess, we will be making our own thesis template. Now, the thesis. Now, this template that we are going to make it can be used for both thesis. If you want to write a book, you can use that a technical book that is, okay, and also. If you want to write a report, let's say you can also use this. Okay. Now this is the this is the template I've used for my uh, uh, master's thesis. Uh, I had a lot. I mean, uh, I'm using this over here. But if you want to make slight adjustments to it to make your own version of it, it's you're more than welcome. Okay. So I'm just going to give you guys a brief outline of what exactly is going on today. Okay. Now in this tutorial, I'll just give you guys the overall outlook of the big template. In a sense. Uh, the major tech file of the template of the file okay okay now the first what you have is that you have a document class and then I set this to 12 point size and I set it to one side if you want to double side it if you had to print a document in both pages then you do two side not a problem I'm using the class book class this is actually a standard book class but if you want you can change this to report uh, report class or uh, yeah book or report there there might be a thesis class but uh, don't uh, I'm not sure about that but if you want you can just book you can put uh, report if you want or a book if you want that doesn't matter I'm keeping it as a book as of now but doesn't matter okay and then this is the document class and then I included these three packages AMS math AMS fonts and AMS sim, sim for including mathematical symbols Okay, and then I have this package use uh, backslash use package graphic X for including pictures and images. Okay, and then I've included this option figure called as and uh, this package called as subfig. Okay, with uh, LOF with these two options LOF depth and LO, LOT depth. Okay, as far as I've understood, the in this figure is this option is used for placing multiple figures inside a main one major figure. Okay, and these two options are actually used for. There are some internal purposes. Don't worry. Internal purposes. Don't worry about it. These are used for multi placing multiple figures inside figures and also enabling ca captions. Uh, I guess these two are used for make enabling the captions option and the numbering options. Go about with that. And then this nat this package natbib is for having a little more fa enhancing bibliography style and fancy HDR. Okay, this package is new. We haven't seen it. We're going to use this package, and this package is actually used for making, uh, setting your own header and footer pa footer of pages, setting the formatting of the header and footer of the pages. And then, what we have here is that we're using the Babel package for changing the page numbers between Arabic and Roman in the process. Okay, and then that's okay. And then I have this package called as use package slash URL. This is for including URLs, URLs in the bibliography section. Let's say you have a bibliography section where you have URLs in it. Um, you can put that in. Okay. And this package uh, EPS to PDF is actually for putting EPS images inside. Uh, it, it is used for putting EPS, kind of taking, uh, extracting EPS images. Mm, how, do I, how do I put it in a simple way? Yeah. If you have EPS images, okay, and this package, uh, what what it does is that it just takes the EPS image, converts this into PDF, and then imports includes a PDF image inside the document, okay, and that's what this package is used for because directly you can't import an EPS image into the file, okay, and then now this pack this line ba uh, backslash graphics path tells you tells the compiler as to where to look where to go and look for the images now as of now as of now I, t I told this uh, to look for an image back img backslash so what I'm going to do is that if I look at the, this folder the report template the if images will be inside this folder img img okay so I'm going to tell uh, so when I compile this file or it will go and look for all the images inside this folder img okay and then i'm going i'm using this uh, input enc for input encoding and then this is for this package set space is actually used for setting the overall spacing of the document and if, if this package is, inclu is included 
I get this command becomes act this command becomes available and when I do this what happens is, what this command says is that it's one one half spacing so what this command does is that uh, between lines there will be a there will be a decent amount of space a reasonable amount of space and that space will be multiplied by one and a half times so the space the spacing will increase by one and a half times thereby giving a decent thesis or a report like look but if you want you can just cut if you want you can just remove this not a big deal okay not a big deal and then this package is important this package hyperref is actually important and what this does is that this has a lot of uh, uh, this has a lot of uh, uh, attributes in it I'll, I'll, look, I'll look at it one by one now what does this package does is that this package is used for uh, include uh, including um, for making the references as hyperlinks, hyperlinks, and also uh, coloring them. Suppose if you were to cite, uh, uh, if you were to cite, uh, uh, let's say, a, a table, a figure, or a image, or a code snippet, some code snippet, or if you want to give, if you want to cite, uh, if you want to cite a, a reference of a paper or uh, an, an article, let's say, an article, then it becomes necessary then uh, it what if in in that in that case uh, if you want to highlight them this command is uh, this package is very useful so the link colors all the links will be colored in blue and the, all the citation color uh, citations will be colored in red and also the important part and then the other things other things like uh, to color the links and uh, these are actually used for me making sure that the links are to be colored or not books marks to be colored or not and everything break links to be colored or not everything okay and this this is good and also what it makes is that it makes the <coughs> it makes uh, all the uh, uh, contents in the table of uh, all the lists in the table of contents to be hyperlinks mostly they will be if not it will also make them hyperlinks so like that and then api like is actually a bibliography style uh, bibliography style we saw in like, one of the previous times wherein it, it lets you to write the author and we are in a continuous running manner and it'll be and it's kind of nice I'm sure I'm using that and with natbib it make the uh, api like and uh, api like style and uh, natbib package works much better as we saw in one of the previous tutorials okay and then and this is the geometry package for setting the paper size i'm just setting the paper to uh, document to be a4 paper with uh, margins on the top bottom top and bottom to be one inch and the left left margin to be 1.5 inch and the right margin to be one inch okay this package is for setting up the shape of the paper and then fans and then page style fancy this command is actually used for predefining the headers now in the top we saw this command use package fancy hdr now this sets this sets up the header and foot uh, styles for the uh, settings for the header and footer and if you want to change that if you want to change that if you want to pay if you change the page page style you can use this option page style fancy and now what this does is that it has its own uh, default uh, page style uh, f header and footer styling it just uh, uh, uses that i found this reasonably good for me so i'm using that and then using this command renew command what i'm set what i'm doing is i'm just setting the head head rule width and a foot rule width accordingly now the there will be now the header and the document will have a line will have a line and that line uh this will be uh will be uh, the thickness of that line will be set over here and the width of the line will be set over here similarly there's a line that separates the footer and the main document that line will also be set over here to give you guys a feel of how it looks like uh, uh give you guys a feel of how it looks like hold on i'll just take my report out i mean my thesis out i'll just give you guys a look at it just hold on okay guys welcome back now this is uh, this is actually my the PDF on my on your right is actually the my thesis my thesis for my master's degree and uh, this is something I made this is something I made from scratch I mean I mean the styling is something I made from scratch I have the acknowledgments abstract and stuff over here and this is actually the table of contents and uh, I'll just with in comparison I'll tell you guys what's happening you see this part with 12 point book it's 12 part I mean the font is 12 size and it's a book format and it's one-sided printed it's one side printed okay and then 
these are used for mathematical symbols yes for image this is for subfigures we'll go look at that in 